Greetings, this is Marquise Merrill, and I'd like to welcome you to Toxin Magazine's The Everything Old School Podcast. And I got the legend, former heavyweight champion, Mr. Michael Spinks, joining us today. Thank you for the blessing. This is this is God has blessed me through you with this interview and flow as well. So thanks again. No problem. You you still got those dukes, man, or, or what? Only when you need them. I still I still got my dukes here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could dig it. So yeah. so the first thing I wanted to know, man, is um, I mean, I know some of these questions, the, some of the answers, but you know, the people might not know. So if it's repetitious. You know, I'm asking for the people who don't know. Uh, who, who's older? And I, and I got to mention that this is Leon Spinks' younger brother, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm his, uh, yeah, next to Leon. Not next to Leon, but yeah, you can say that. Okay, we'll leave it at that. So right. how, how was life? I'm sorry? I didn't say anything. Oh, so how was life in, in St. Louis, man? Tell me, tell me about your humble beginnings, man. Well, it was it was all right. You know, it it was it was fine. It, it was fine. Um we lived in the projects and it was all right. It wasn't no it wasn't it wasn't too bad. We had a lot of guys that pick that they were picked on picked on uh Leon got picked on a lot. And then uh, a guy took Leon to uh, 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 to a, a a recreation center called Capri, and uh, it, it was out of our neighborhood. But that's where they went. To, you know, the guys went to uh, box there at Capri, mm -hmm. and uh, Leon they they, they uh, as Leon got beat up a few times. They uh, just took. They, they they decided to take Leon to the gym themselves, and uh, the Westbrook brothers. That that's was their name. They were Calvin Westbrook and Steve Westbrook. They took Leon to the gym, and Leon um, picked up uh, learned how to fight. Leon learned how to fight. He was learning how to fight, and then uh, why did they pick on him? I, Leon got picked on a lot. I, I don't know why Leon got picked on a lot. Mm -hmm. Leon got Leon got picked on a lot, but um, the, the guys, uh, the Westbrook brothers, they took Leon to the gym, to Capri, it was a rec recreation center called Capri, and um, Leon went there, came back home. I think I started I started some stuff with Leon, and uh, Leon put some of those boxing punches on me, and uh, so I I went I went. To learn some of that stuff myself the very next day. So that so that was so that was the beginning of your boxing career. That's right, absolutely. That's how I got oh. started. And do do you remember what you and your brother was beefing about that day, or just regular brother <laughs> stuff? Could have been no, anything. I, I, I was I was kind of like a I was kind of like a bully. Uh, and Leon, Leon, I come to find out that Leon just was taking it easy on me. Oh. Instead of, Leon took it easy on me so that, um, you know, I, I, um, I, I mean, I was, um, I was, I was kind of like a bully in, in the family, and and I picked on Leon, and Leon uh, put some of the boxing punches on me, and I guess that that's what did it. That's what did it for me. Uh, I hate so so him he so he couldn't really knock you out. He was just taking the light on you. Exactly. He, he could have he could have did that. He could have got got the best of me at the time, but he was just uh, uh Leon was a uh, just a, a gentle. He was a, a gentleman. He was a, a gentleman. I hate. You. Yeah. Do y'all have any sisters or is it just you two? Yeah, we got we had one sister. Oh, okay. My sister that grew up that grew up with Leon and myself. She she was, she was after Leon. It was Leon. It was Leon. My sister Karen, and then me. Ooh. Was it was was Saint the Show Me State? Was it um, was it racist back then? And did you come across Red Fox because he's from St. Louis too? Did, did you know him or his family? No, I did not. No, I didn't. I didn't know Red Fox when he was <laughs> living in St. Louis. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, you didn't know he was from St. Louis? I, I, I found out. 
Oh, you found out. Okay. Uh, I found out that he was from St. Louis. And every time I went to Las Vegas, I went to go see him uh, do his comedy act. Right. I went to go see Ray Fox do do his act. And uh, and uh, I think uh, he, he got word that I was in, that I was in the house. And uh, he introduced me to everybody and uh, said that I was one of his homeboys from St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, the show me state. Oh, but I want to rewind. So when you went to the gym that first time after your brother put it on you, how, how old was you and how old was he? I, I, Le I think Leon was about 14 and I think I was just 11 years old. Oh, so y'all were kids, like really kids. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So boxing, you've been boxing most of your life then, well, half your life at least at this point. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. So that answers my, my next question because I was going to ask you who got into it first. But you said that they took Leon to the gym and um, th the rest is history. Now the whole world knows you guys' name. <laughs> yeah am i right yeah. about it that's right. So, You're right so since boxing is, is such a violent sport how did your parents feel about it especially your mother because you know mothers don't play when it comes to their boys yeah my mom she was all right she was she was she was all right as a matter of fact i, I don't think she knew that we was going to the gym she she didn't know it but, and uh i think when we came back home I think my mom got got wind that Leon had went to the gym and and I and, and, and drug me down there and uh, she was all she was she, she was all right with it. It kept you out of trouble, huh? Or or did it? Did it keep you too out of trouble? And yeah, you can kind say of? that. Well, kind of, kind of. Okay. We we we, we didn't get in, get in much trouble at, at all back then. <laughs> we didn't get in much trouble. Did was St. Louis was St. Louis a, a racist area, or you lived in the black part, where it's just just us? Yeah, we uh, we lived in, 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 in the projects where it was just most of us, but uh, but, but white folks lived in in those buildings that we lived in. They lived on lower flo floors, but uh, yeah, you had white folks that lived in in, in the Prudago project. So what's the name of them? Yeah, Pruitt, Pruitt and Igo. Pruitt and Igo. So Pruitt and Igo. So back home now, do you guys have a street named after you or a gym named after you or something? I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't been there in a while, but I think last time I was there, they had a, a I think Leon, it was a street for Leon. Leon oh. had a street named after him, I think. Okay, because I know boxing is a rough sport, man, and and people don't realize the mental toughness that athletes have to have. All they see is the half hour, hour on TV, but they don't see the lifetime of dedication that takes people that takes it for them to get to that position. So I want to know: Was there any time, especially starting so young, that you wanted to quit? Like I'm not, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I, I can't remember ever ever wanting to quit, you know, because I think everybody, most most of the guys in 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 our neighborhood, everybody was boxing. Everybody was boxing. Everybody. So it was a thing to do. So so it was yeah. a thing to do at the time. It was a thing to do at the time because everybody was boxing, and we had a, a city tournament. Uh, we had. Uh, uh, all star t t tournament, and uh, everybody was doing it. Everybody was boxing. So would you would you consider it that it was the culture, like it was the culture at the time? That that's what all the youth were doing, like New York and the Bronx and hip hop. Everybody was doing it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was doing it in in in, in the, the projects. You had a lot of a lot of guys that was do that that was doing it. And uh, they, they were pretty good too. So um, I'm, I can imagine. So from that time and from those projects in that area, 
Are you and the, your brother the only ones that actually made it? I think so. It, it was it was it was it was one one guy that I think he turned pro. His name was uh, it was Pilo Pilo Pilo's brother. Uh, I, I mean, I can't think of his name. But did he did he have the success of you and your brother? I, I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. But let let me ask you real quick to fast forward. His name was Moses. What? His name was Moses Moses Carbon. Moses that, what? Moses Carbon. Carbon. Yeah. Okay, and he went pro. He went pro. Mm, okay. He went pro. But I, I don't think he did too well. But at least he made it, though. He was there. He could say he was there. Yeah, he was there. He, he was there. He could say he was there. Yes, I sir. I could dig it. Okay, so so we start from grassroots for people who don't know. We're speaking to the light heavyweight champion, correct? Mr. Michael Spinks. That's right. Light heavyweight ain't, champion. Ain't no doubt about it. 30, 31 in <laughs> Donut. But we're going to get there. <laughs> the 31 in Bagel, however you want to say it. We're going to get there. Uh -huh. So tell me from the, the humble beginning, <laughs> uh, because if I'm not mistaken, you you won the Golden Gloves before your brother, correct? Yeah. He ain't think I know that. See, he was confused. Like, how did he know that? But, <laughs> but well, So explain, explain that journey. 11-year-old, you go to the gym. You're saying everybody in the neighborhood is boxing. Uh, apparently you're taking it serious. You said you wasn't quitting. You said it never crossed your mind. So how did it come about that you had your first amateur fight? Did somebody see something in you? Was you knocking all the no locals out or? No, I, 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 I don't think I was any good uh, back back then. And uh, I think the first time I went to a, a, a Golden Glove tournament, it was in uh 73 it was 73 and uh but even before that i mean there was a road before the golden gloves how did you you like you were just beating the locals up or well the guy the, the, well we had we had we had a, a city tournament and uh i think i don't think i i don't think i won that but i think after we participated in that uh in that tournament, all the guys that 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 won, they they got a trip to uh, the Golden Gloves. It was that diamond, the Golden Glove tournaments that was out, out of town. And the first first one I went to was in Boston, Massachusetts. And how how old were you about? I think I was about maybe 15, 16. Oh, okay, so right now you're four or five years in to boxing. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, I, I was I was just getting started, and uh, I, uh, I I I uh, I I did all right in, in in that tournament, which was in Boston, Massachusetts, and I fought some pretty big, tough, tough, tough guys. And then uh, I think it's 1974. I won another tournament to go to another uh, tur uh, uh, tournament of champions. That's what they call it, the tournament of champions. And I went to okay. another tournament of champions. And uh, and this was in uh, Denver, Colorado. And uh, and I won. But the thing was, I, 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 lost, I lost in 73 because I ran out of I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas, and I just uh, I just thought that I could do a little better than you know. I, I, when I lost I lost because I got tired. So the following year, seventy four, I trained harder, you know, to, uh, to 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 do better in 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 uh, Denver, Colorado. I I did I. I uh, I trained harder so I could possibly win that time, and and I did. Now, can you fix the camera? Can you fix the camera? Because uh, yeah, that, uh, that's a little that's a little better, like that. 
Okay, good. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, because before I see you, Britt, we got to show that million dollar body. You know, <laughs> now, now we can see you. <laughs> can you dig it? Yeah, I can dig it. <laughs> All right. So you talk. I was only three years old when when you talking. Uh, like seventy three. Wow. Yeah, I was only three. I'm, I'm, I'm. I won. I won the term. I won the tournament in '74, uh -huh. and that was my. Uh, that was that was the tournament that I won. The, the, the seventy in '73. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I did all right, but I didn't win. I didn't win. I didn't win the tournament. But the following year, '74, I did all right. You I came won. back prepared. You came back prepared. Came back prepared. And, and I and I won that tournament. Yes, I he did. He wasn't playing. And Leon, and Leon was in. Leon was in the. Uh, Leon was in the Marines then. Leon had went to the Marines, and I think after I won that tournament, it was another tournament that came up. I didn't go to that to, to the second tournament in in seventy four, and uh, and that, and the thing was that's where the armed armed forces. They participated in, in in that second tournament, it was which was the AAU. It was an AAU tournament. So when Leon heard about me winning, when Leon heard about me when Leon said uh, Leon said, said that he said that he's the one that should be setting the example and uh, and, and winning the tournaments. And uh, the, the, the next, the, I mean, the, the second tournament that came up in, in, in that year. Uh, Leon won. Mm. He won. He won the second time, but I, I won. I won the first one in '74. I won the first one, and then Leon came up in the second tournament, and Leon won. Was he out of the military at this time, or he was still in? No, the he military? was. He was still in the military. He's still AAU. Still, okay. Yeah, in the military. Yeah, because that's what they, the AAU. That's why the armed forces could they could could participate in that tournament. And what what was your amateur record? Do you remember? No, I, I don't remember. I, I... Ninety-seven and seven. You had a ninety-seven and seven. Wow, you had that many fights as an amateur? No, no. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm, right, I'm telling you, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't cause I, I didn't have that many fights. Wow, I was going to say. So, so how do so? How did this the Olympic team? Because my brother-in-law, Lawrence Rodney Smith Jr., I'm sorry, senior from Niagara, New York, he was telling me that your Olympic team was the best Olympic team ever. He uh, was telling he, he was telling me, um, I think Howard, I can't remember Howard, his name. Howard Davis. Howard Davis Jr. He was he was saying um he he was the so other than yourself. Who you think was the best one on the team, the best boxer? You can't pick yourself on the Olympic team. Oh, man. On the Olympic team. Oh, man. Uh, he said how he said Howard Davis was was a bad boy. How oh, how was I? Not so Ray, not picking Ray, Ray, Ray Little was, was was good too. Ray right, Little right. and Heidi. Heidi was Ray Little's homeboy. And uh, he and Ray hung together in in, in the Olympics, uh, but um, yeah, uh, Heidi, Heidi was uh, from from uh, Ray Leonard's hometown, which is which was which was Mer uh, uh, Merlin. Oh, so who would you pick? Who would you say was the best? You can't pick yourself. Was your brother on that team? Leon was on the team. So yeah, who? Leon, Leon and myself was on that team. Okay, you can't pick you or him. Who who would you have to pick? Oh man, um, Ray Leonard, one. Ray Ray Leonard, Ray Leonard, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Leo Leo Randolph, Leo Randolph. So you wouldn't even pick. You wouldn't even pick Howard as one of the best. Howard was. He was one of the best. He was one of them. He was one so of. That's so that's what I'm saying. If you had to pick, who would you pick as? Because I know they were everybody was was great, but if you had to pick one boxer other than yourself or your brethren, who would you say was the best on the Olympic team? Well, I would say Ray, Ray, Ray Leonard. You would say Ray Leonard, Ray okay? Leonard, uh, uh, Leon and my well, Le Leon, Leon was pretty good. 
Yeah, you can't pick him, no. Okay, so, so you have right. to go with Ray. You Ray have Leonard, to go with Ray. Ray. Yeah, Ray Leonard, yeah. Did you guys spar like the team? Did you spar behind the scenes? Did you guys fight each other at practice and stuff? Yeah, we we spar. Yeah, we spar. Mm. I spar with uh, Chuck Walker. That was the only white boy we had on our, on, our, on our team. Oh, hey. Now, now let me ask you another question, man, because I know it's all love between you and your brother, and and it's obvious you guys stuck together like the way it should have been. But was there a little friendly competition between you and him, or it was just um we we just gonna do this together? Was was there a little friendly competition? Not really. No, it wasn't, not, not really. It wasn't, we, we didn't have no competition between us. But uh, being that I got in the ring before Leon, I, I kind of like uh, led. I kind of like uh, whatever, I, well, whatever I was able to do, uh, Leon, he kind of like uh, cop, copied. He kind of copied. So you kind of opened the door for him? Is yeah, because I, 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 was, I was a middleweight and Leon was a light heavyweight. So I, I went I went in the ring right before Leon all the time, all the time. Mm. And uh, Leon just followed, he followed my lead. If I won, Leon was going, he was going to win. That's interesting, man. Uh -huh. So who, 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 who's the best trainer you ever had? Because I know um, you had a few of them, but who who would you consider the best trainer you ever had? The best trainer, uh, the one the one who taught you how to box and really really be able to do it and take it to the next level. Well, that was um, it was, his name was Jim Jim Merle, out of St. Louis, and then uh, I think Merle, Merle got sick. He got sick. And uh, I don't think he was he was co coaching anymore, and so I went to uh, DeSoto. It was a, 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 a recreation center called DeSoto, De and I went there with the. He was a white guy that was coaching the guys, and I went. I, I went. I went down there to. Uh, the, the, I mean, to, to box with with, with 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 them, you know, with with the guys at DeSoto. But Kenny Lowell was the second coach that I had in St. Louis. Jim Merrill was the first one that taught me how to fight. And uh, Kenny, Kenny Lowell was the second one. I can dig it. And, 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 and they, are they all on different levels? So were they, when you were pros or amateurs? Well, you said taught you how to fight. So that the first, Jim Merrill must have been the first one. Jim Merrill was the first one. Taught me how to fight. Mm, and, 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 oh, Leon, Leon and myself had a fight. He was a hell of a coach. He was one hell of a coach. I can dig it, man. He and why did you wear knee brace? Did you wear... I'm sorry. Say it again. I said, did you wear your knee braces like all the, your whole career? What what yeah. made you start wearing your knee yeah. braces? Well, I, I I fractured my big toe, and. Uh, I fractured my big toe, and I just uh, I, I had to I had to wear it, I, had, I had to wear that that brace from then on out. Yeah, but you see the confused look on my face because I'm like, if you fractured your toe, why do you have more knee braces? Yeah, because the body's the, the doctor told me the body's connected. Uh, I fractured my big toe, but it. it, it uh, the uh, the pain, well, it it went it went all all, all the way up to the, the right side of my body. Oh, yeah, cause the body is like like the doctor told me. He said the body is connected. So if, if I fracture my big toe, you know, uh, part parts uh, of the leg and the, the hip and uh, the shoulder, the top of the head, all of all of that got affected. All, all that was affected by that big toe. Did it work? Did the braces work? Yeah, yeah, they work. They work. Mm. 
Hey, wow, what? that's deep. Yeah, now, now, now you know. Now, now you know. I gotta bring up that quick overhand right. How how did the Spink Jinx come along, and who named it? Give give me the give me the history of that. And that <laughs> question is courtesy of Lawrence Rodney Smith Senior from Mike, New York, <laughs> my brother in law. You know, I gotta um, shout him out. <laughs> you gonna meet him too, God willing. We'll we'll be there in April in New okay. Rochelle. All right. Well, it's, I think that's a punch that uh, uh, I, I think that we in St. Louis. I think that, I think we 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 had that overhand right uh, kicking. I mean, it was it's, it's what we did. Who named it the Sphinx Jinx, and why? My my uh, my boxing promoter, Butch Lewis. Butch Lewis was 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 my uh, he was my promoter. And uh, he uh, he just he just named it the Sphinx Jinx. Oh, okay. He, he, Butch, Butch, Butch Butch did that. He did that. He named the uh, the punch the Sphinx Jinx. And uh, it, it, it was it was that it was that from then on out the Sphinx right. Jinx. Yeah. And, you, and it's like you you almost never miss every time. Well, from the fights I remember, every time you threw it, you landed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there any fight that you well shoot, I can't even say that. What was your what was your final record? 31. What was your final record when you retired? I think it was 31 and one. Okay, well then I can't even ask the next question then. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, screw that one. Okay, so um is there any fight that you wish you could have back? And and do it again? Not really. I had, not I, really. I, I, not not really. I, I had a good time. I had a good time fighting in, in uh, boxing guys that I did that I did box. I can dig it. No, well, let me let me ask you about the Larry, the one of the Larry, well, both Larry Holmes fights. When when you beat him the second time, um, did you have the same strategy? Or were you more confident because you beat him the first time? What, what was your approach the second time? No, I, I thought I had his number. I thought I thought I had his number, and mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, I thought I had his number. So I, 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 I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried about it. Could, could you could you come down a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that million dollar body. Yeah, we got to see that because it keeps yeah, going. I beat, up. Yeah, I, I, I beat him once. And I thought I thought that I, I, I could do it again. I just thought I could do it do it again. Did you have the same strategy or you just did the same thing you did the first time? Uh, same thing. Same thing I did the first time. I just and it uh, worked. Yeah, yeah. Who, you know the thing, the, was, the thing the thing was I uh I thought I had uh, pump, pumped a little fear in his in his in his, in his body. And uh I, I thought I thought I did well the first time, and so I thought that I would do just as good the second time. And you did, yeah, sure did. So who, who was the, who was the toughest opponent you ever faced? Man, mm. I, 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 I don't know. All I was I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna touch it a little later, but you wouldn't say Mike Tyson. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, since we on it, since we on it, let's continue. Let's continue. I, I'll bring it. So you would say, yeah, it was it was Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, it was him. So, I mean, every everybody, every boxer has to be scared when they get in the ring with anyone. So, were you prepared though? Were you confident as well as shook, as well as scared? Because I know there had to be a level of, of fear, even for him. I'm sure. That's yeah. the nature of the game. That's right. So, were you were you confident, or you was just was you off your game? How could you figure? How could you describe it? I I just I just I I just had to, had to do the best that I could. You know, I just had to do the best that I could when I got in the ring with Mike Tyson because I know he was packing, I mean, he was pa packing dynamite in his punches. So 
I, I, I didn't worry about that. I just say, hey, whatever the case may be, I just I, I was I, I was I was ready when I when I went in. I was ready, so I say, hey, made may, uh, may the best man win. And then, and in all fairness, you was like ten years older than him. You know, he. I think he was reaching his prime, and you were probably closer to retiring at that time. Is uh, that correct? Is, is that assessment correct? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, because you was thirty and old, man. When you when you reached them, correct? When you uh, fought them, yeah. Yeah. Did Did you get stripped of your title? Yeah, I got I got stripped. And, Could you uh, explain that to, to to us? Did I what? I said, could you explain that to us? Why why you got stripped and when? Well, I, I was I, I was scheduled to fight. What's that? Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker. I was scheduled to fight Tony wow, Tucker. She she knows everything. She's a walking <laughs> library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, I I I didn't fight him, so I think they stripped me of, of my uh, light heavyweight title. Uh, heavyweight. It was a heavyweight title. Yeah, at the WBA. Okay, then, yeah, okay. It was my heavyweight title that I, that I uh, got stripped for. And, uh, yeah, that was it. How, how, come, how come you didn't, who, Tony Tucker, you said? Uh-huh. Why, why didn't you fight him? Well, because I, 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 I had, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, what did you call it? I, I was supposed to fight Jerry Cooney, and they didn't want me to fight Jerry Cooney. I, I, I forget. I think Bob Arum or somebody. They didn't want me to fight Jerry Cooney, and uh, and I was I was I, I, I mean I was scheduled I was scheduled to fight him. I was scheduled to fight Cooney, and they threw Tony Tucker in there, and, 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 and I had I was I was scheduled to fight Tony Tucker. But, well, at least you honest. And, and Tony Tucker wasn't even in the rankings. Yeah, 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 Tony Tucker. Yeah, Tony Tucker. He wasn't even in, in the ratings, and, uh, and they 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 shot him up in us somehow. But anyway, uh, Tony Tucker. They, they they threw him in there, and I was I was scheduled to fight Coney because we, we we had a, a a tournament. It was some kind of tournament that we had going. Heavyweight tournament that Don King had. Yeah, it was, yeah, that we was uh yeah, yeah we 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 um uh, yeah we had we had a, a a tournament going on and I think all the heavyweights was supposed to participate in it and uh, I I don't even think Tony Tucker was nowhere nowhere he was nowhere involved in the, in that tournament and next thing you know they just shot him up in there and I was, and I was scheduled to fight him. And that wasn't the case. Oh, I, I apologize. I thought you said you were scared to fight him before, but you said you were scheduled to. So yeah. I misunderstood you. I'm sorry. No problem. I was scheduled to fight Tony, uh, Jerry Cooney. I was scheduled to fight Jerry Cooney, and then they threw Tony Tucker up in there, and I was scheduled to fight him. But uh, why do you think they did that? Why do you think they switched it up? Well, you know, you, that, that's boxing. That's boxing. You got uh, you got some guys that that uh, can get get scoot guys up in in, in the ra in the ra in the ratings. They can scoot them up in the ratings, and next thing you know, you got to fight them instead of who you were scheduled scheduled to fight. You know, so it isn't matter. It's, it's that's boxing always have been like that. Oh, it's been dirty, huh? Yeah, kind of dirty, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I can, I can dig that, man. So who, who was a tougher fighter opponent, you think? Cooney or, or Holmes? Who was the toughest? Well, well, well Holmes, was, Holmes had to be the toughest because he was the champ, you know. And, and I think I think he fought he fought Jerry Cooney, didn't he? Yeah, he knocked him out too. Yeah, he he beat Cooney. He knocked, he got him. But uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Marquis. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. I I need the answers. Jerry Cooney's a nice guy. We've worked with him a lot. 
But he was never champion, and he just gets on my nerves and makes such a big deal out of it. But he's well, you know guy. why. You know why. I know why. And he's a lovely guy. We worked with him a lot. You know, him and Larry. No, no, no. gets on my nerves. <laughs> we, 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 know, we know what's up with that. Yeah. So this is what I want to know. I'm going to give you the proper respect, Mr. Spinks. Now, as far as training is concerned, um, is it true um, that, the, that the trainers or a, a fighter shouldn't have sex before a fight because it makes their legs weak? Or, yeah. or is, that, is that a myth in the game? No, that's not a myth. That's, that's the truth. You, you, can't, you can't have sex be, be, before you fight. Did you, when you say before a fight, meaning the same day or yeah, the day the day before, uh, day, the day before, yeah, or the same day. Like Steve Arrington said, it make you weak in your knees. Yeah, it make it make you weak in the knees. <laughs> oh man, that's interesting. So it, make, it, it, it do make you weak in the knees. Yes, sir. You so you, you, you can lose. So that is true then, huh? No, no, none, nothing until after the fight. That's right, absolutely. So what what was your training regimen? Like when you was at the top of your game, or when you when you was real hungry, how often did you train and, and, and what did you do? What was your routine? So I kind of trained every day. I tried to. Mm -hmm. I trained every day and I did my road work. Uh, did my jumping jacks and like how like how when you say road work how many miles a day did you run? I would run about at least about maybe three miles or four, three or four, three or four miles. I I would run and then and then do jump rope. Uh, no, I, I would I would go to the gym. I would run. I would run. And then when I would go to the gym, I mean, you do jump rope and you shadow box and hit the heavy bag and, and all that stuff. So what, what's a good exercise? Because you said the first tournament you win, you was tired. So what is a good regimen to work on your stamina? Is, is that why boxers do so much? Is it that for stamina? Yeah, yeah. But you got, you got to run. You got to run and you got to exercise. You got to do some exercise, you got to run. And uh, doing that, doing, doing that can help you, um, help you, help you get ready for any fight that you are about to participate in. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, now I'm not going to keep you much longer, champ, but do you remember who, who, Anybody ever hit you so hard you thought twice? Like, okay, I, I got to keep my hands up. Do you remember the first time you you you, you got poked kind of hard there? <laughs> uh, I forget, man. I, I got hit pretty hard a number of times, but but I can't remember any offhand. Yeah, it takes a special person to be a boxer, man, because y'all put your body through so much. And them big gloves, it looks easy, but them things are. They heavy, aren't they? You guys make it look so easy. No, no they're not heavy. They they kind of light on your hands, but uh, yeah, they can they kind of light on your hands. And uh, you, you just gotta you gotta just use your use your skills to do what you gotta do. So who who inspired you uh, um to to become a boxer? Like who did you look up to? My brother Leon. I knew, I knew you were going to say that. Any, that any, any anyone else? Uh, not really. Was there anybody you tried to imitate? Yeah, it was. It was a guy named Lewis Lewis Finch. He was. He was. We we was in the same grade at at at, at the Pru, at Pruitt School, and, and uh, Lewis Finch. He was a pretty boy. Pretty boy, mm -hmm. Bob and Weave. I mean, he was. I mean, he had it all. He had it all together. Together, and uh, he was just a, a, a favorite of mine. Uh, and, and, 
I didn't, I didn't particularly want to fight just like him, but I, I dug him. He he was pretty good. He was he was pretty good. He was. I think he was. Uh, I don't think he was a middleweight. He wasn't a middleweight. He was. Uh, man, I forget. I forget what what he was, but he was. A, he was a, a very good friend of mine. And me and him, we 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 made friends uh, very easy. But the thing was, I had got jumped on. I I, I, I gang banged. I think the the the, uh, the summer before. Or, 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 or the yeah the, the, the summer that that summer and uh, when when I when I went to school I just so happened I think I think Lewis Finch was one of the guys that that that, that beat that helped beat me up you know and uh, he uh, he uh, uh, when I was sitting down in, in, in the classroom you know he was like hey ain't you uh, ain't you 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 Michael Springs and uh, he said, then, 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 then you get jumped on in, in the summertime? And I was like, no, I ain't get jumped on. I ain't, no, anybody, ain't nobody jump on me. <laughs> and, and, and I just didn't want I, I, I didn't want to admit to it, but he was one of them. And Louis Finch, he was one of the guys that beat me up. Uh, I can dig it. Yeah, so. But, and, and, then you, and then you end up, and then you ended up admiring his style. Yeah, I, I, I admire his style, and uh, and the thing was, we end we end up becoming be like good good friends. He and I, he and I became good friends, and uh, yeah, and yeah, we, we became good friends, and, and we we also we boxed for the same the same uh, the same guy, same guy that taught me how to fight. I think he was teach he taught uh, Lewis Finch how to fight. Mm. Now, what you think if you wasn't fighting? What you think you would have done in life? Shit, I don't know. I don't know. I say, man, but uh, I, I know that because boxing, boxing was your boxing, first choice, boxing, though, right? Boxing was something that everybody did in, in, in my neighborhood. Everybody, the majority of the guys that that lived in in the neighborhood. The majority of the majority of them uh, boxed. Everybody was boxing. Mm. But but if I'm not mistaken, once you came for the Olympics, didn't you want to try something else out? Because I heard a story about you chilling in the couch and somebody was cursing you out, and you said, "Well, man, let me go ahead on boxing. Uh, let me go ahead and go pro before I kill this dude." <laughs> Do I got the story right or halfway right? No, I don't think so. Your old, did, did, your old boss at the at, at the building you were working at. At 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 the at the. Uh, it's right at, after the Olympics, okay. right? Your old boss. That's all out there on the internet. So <laughs> you've given that interview up. He told you fell asleep in the women's bathroom. Yeah, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> and the boss came in there. Yeah, he cursed me out real bad. He cursed me out real bad. His name was uh, his name was uh, oh, what was his name? I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember his name. Anyway, uh, he's he said he didn't call me. He didn't call me by my name. If he, if he wanted to call me anytime, he wanted he just said, hey fighter. <laughs> he said, "Hey, fighter, come in." <laughs> and that's before you went pro, right? Not before I went pro, because I, I tried to work it out. I, I, I wanted to work it out instead could, of. Could you know, come back? Because the yeah, the camera yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I I wanted to work it out, but I, I, I couldn't couldn't work it out. So the thing was, I just he cursed me out. He cursed me out real bad. And I and I told him that I was going to do him. I said I'm going to do you and me a favor. I said I, I'm 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 going to I'm, I, I I think I told him I was going to turn pro. I was going to turn pro, and uh, so that he didn't have to worry about me uh, falling asleep on the job anymore. <laughs> so that became a blessing. 
That yeah. was a blessing the way it worked out. That's right, absolutely. Now, now before I let you go, man, tell us tell us a little about your brother Leon, man. You know, some things that the world, you know, because we all talk about in boxing. How was Leon as a person, as a human being? You know, yeah. when the cameras yeah. wasn't on him. Yeah, well, Leon was one hell of a dude. Uh, he was my big brother, so I mean, I, I loved him very much. And uh, Leon, Leon could, I mean, he was one hell of a fighter. He was one hell of a fighter. And, and, and uh, as, 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 uh, as everybody knows, he beat, he beat Muhammad Ali. And I helped, I helped him get ready to fight, to get in there with Muhammad Ali. I helped him get ready for that. I got in the ring. I sparred with Leon. And uh, I, mean, I, I mean, he hit me with some good stuff. He hit me with some good shots, with some good stuff. Uh, preparing him for, for Muhammad Ali, you know, but um, Leon was, hell of a, he was one hell of a guy, one hell of a boxer. He was one hell of a fighter. And and as a human being, you, he was just very kind and warm. Yeah, you can say that, sure. Nobody sure. to play with, huh? I can imagine. No, he wasn't nobody to play with, especially inside the ring. Hmm. Yeah. Who, now, who 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 hold it, who held the title longer, you or him? Let me see. I, I think I, I I must I must I must have. Uh, yeah, I think I did. I held the title longest. So I think I think you guys are the first uh, brothers in history to be champions in boxing history. I should say. I don't think there was any. Brothers before you that were that held belts in in boxing, so uh -huh. you guys in in boxing history in more than one category. If if I'm not mistaken, did that? Did you ever think of that? No, no. Uh, let me see who won first. first you guys. Yeah. Okay. It was us. And also the first two to be uh, Olympic gold medalists on the same team. Yeah. Oh first, wow, man! They need Olympic to do. Gold First Olympic gold medalist on the same team, and we we were brothers, so that was and first and, and first heavyweight champions. Since then, it's only been the Klitschko's. Yeah, the Klitschko's the only two oh, yeah. after, after, after us. After and that's Lee. like thirty years later. That's like that's way later, man. Your you, your life need to be a movie, man. Twenty years later, I think. Later. Yeah. You go, you go, you gonna make it a movie one one of these days? Have you think about that? Cause that's deep, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. let's 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 see about making some movies, man. But we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that in April. All right. I'm we serious, man. I'm serious. I'm serious. All right. Okay. All right. So um, who, now who who's Corey Spinks? That's Leon's son. Oh, is he boxing? He he's boxing too, or used to box, or well, he used to box. He used to. Okay, D did he make it to the level of you guys? I don't yeah, necessarily yeah. I think the he's belt. A, he's a five-time world champ. Yeah, five divisions. Five undisputed. five divisions, undisputed. I didn't know that. Well, yeah. I never known that. Yeah, Corey was undisputed as a. As as is in his weight class, middle weight, light middle weight. I don't know, but it was all the smaller weights. It, it, yeah. I don't think it was no middle weight. Light weight, light oh, Zab Judah, all those times. But yeah, I, it's five. It's five um, different types. Categories he was in. Five categories. Yeah. That's Flo Anthony talking, y'all. The the, the walking <laughs> library. The big big yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. So one, one more. I got one more quick question, and then I got something that I call ten for ten. <coughs> I know you're fast, so I want you to answer ten questions in ten seconds. But after this question, so as a boxer, what are the foods that you ate to stay healthy and to keep your weight down? Cause I, I eat a lot. I like me some cookies and cream, man. But I gotta cut that out. So I, I need some advice, man. If all the people who trying to stay healthy and know what to eat and what not to eat, can you can you give us some advice? 
Well, uh, when, you, when you was when you was staying fit for your um, not that you're not now, but you know what I mean when you had to do it. Yeah, well, we we did all kind of stuff. Uh, we ate we ate uh, boiled eggs. Uh, we ate the boiled eggs. Then we ate we ate the, the egg uh, without uh, without it being cooked at all. Oh, so that is true. You put it in the cup and drank it. That is true. Yeah, that's true. For the protein. Uh huh. Absolutely. And what else? What did you eat to fill you up, though? Well, you can eat, you can eat some spaghetti, and I ate spaghetti without the sauce, without so, any sauce. I used to do that too. That pasta. So, so I got to lay off the bacon cheeseburgers. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, he probably got got to lay off that a little bit. <laughs> I hear yeah. you, man. Yeah. All right, so, so before you go, I got ten for ten. Ready? All right. All right. Um, did you like fighting better inside or the outside? Inside or outside? Outside. Yeah. Inside. So you you prefer well, inside? So inside. No, 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 I'm sorry. Let me let me specify. I don't mean indoors or outdoors. I mean jabbing or inside hitting the body. You know, brawling. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't care. I, I didn't really care how we fought. Uh, I I didn't care. Okay, so inside or outside, it man. So, do you did you consider yourself um, a boxer or or, or a slugger? I, I was a boxer, but I, but I can slug too. Yeah, that that that's true. You you could. Um, what what was your finest moment in your career? Let me see. Shoot, finest moment. So when, many of them, right? When I beat, when I beat Eddie Mustafa Muhammad for his title, and uh, and when I beat Larry Holmes. Mm. What was your worst moment? <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and I beat I beat Muhammad Kwawi. I beat him. I used to box him in Joe Frazier's gym all the time, but uh, I had a chance to fight him for for his for his title. He, I think he was a w, w, WBC, and uh, so I, I beat him for his championship. And who's your, who's your best friend in the business then, then and now? Who's my best friend in, in the business? Yes, then and now. Well, Butch Lewis was. Butch Lewis mm -hmm. was my it, Anyone it, now? Well, not not really. I hate you. And, 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 yeah, flow. Yeah. Now, now, who 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 do you think who do you think you could beat uh, today? You think if you not necessarily the weight class, you think you could beat Floyd Mayweather in your prime, or if you was here today, you think you give him a run for his money? I'll be so. I can probably, dig it. Yeah, probably so. But yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Floyd was pretty good. Who do you like today? I, I, was, I was pretty good myself, though. Yeah, you thir 30 in bagel, man. <laughs> right on. Uh-huh. <laughs> and who do you like today? What boxes you like today? Well, I, I I don't I don't know them all now. I don't I don't know all the guys. I don't know all of them now. You think you think it's watered down? Follow, I don't follow. I don't follow it like I used to. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. So it's just it's just a, it's just a distant memory for you, huh? You've been there, done that. That's that you chapter's can, gone. Yeah, you can say that. And you're not training anyone. Nobody, you know, you're not training or teaching the, the kids you know to um the techniques or you just laying low and living your life i'm just living my life i'm laying low i hear you man i don't train nobody i hear you well i, I appreciate this interview my brother if you don't mind me calling you i know you now i'm gonna call you my brother can you <laughs> dig it 
And if we're going to chat, God willing, in April, I see you. We're going to kick it. Me, you, my brother-in-law, Miss Anthony. And I, I wish you all the best, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, Flo. We'll, we'll talk soon, God willing. All right. Hopefully I'll see you Sunday at the book signing. I plan on it. You you coming through, sir? Or are you staying where you are? You coming through? I'll be there. Oh, my man. My man. Who's there? In New York, son. You come home with me tomorrow if you want. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay for your way back. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm dead serious, brother. All right, I, I don't know how how I go. Flo Flo got to tell me all the give me all the uh, ins and outs of what, of what we got to do. But I'll all right. be, I'll be glad to. All right, my man, much love and thank you all. Peace and blessings right. and enjoy thank your you. weekend. All right, man, you do the same. Thank you. Respect, respect. All right, all right. thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs>